Clash of Clans is nearly 5 years old, and since then, many mysteries have already been uncovered. Like the story of how the Barbarian and Archer became the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen. How the Builder ended up in Clash Royale, and what happened to the Wizard and Hog Rider after they set sail for a new island. But there is another mystery still yet to be uncovered. That is, until now. Today we will take a look at the origin of the Builders, as well as how the P.E.K.K.A. was created. Over five years ago, back at the beginning of Clash, there were two new troops just introduced to the village. These two troops both happened to be dwarves, and they were brothers. The younger brother's name was Bill, and his older brother's name was Dirk. These two were extremely competitive with each other, always competing to see who was the better brother. They would compete to see who could run faster, who could build better things, and even who had a bigger hammer. They would compete for literally everything. Anyways, during their first day in the village, the village chief was asking to see what they could do in battle. So they were both sent into battle, where there were barbarians, balloons, dragons, goblins, and archers all fighting around them. Bill and Dirk felt way out of place, and quickly realized that they had no fighting abilities and were basically just standing bait. They had talents in other places though, like building things, and since building something wasn't going to save their lives in the middle of this battle, they quickly jumped out of the way and hid in a bush until the battle was over. When the battle had finished, all the troops around them had turned into a purple liquid known as Elixir, whereas the two brothers did not. They returned to their village and approached the chief. When the chief saw them, his jaw hung open. He had never witnessed troops come back from a battle before. This was a first. But he wasn't so much impressed as he was furious. He scalded them for being cowards and not fighting with the rest of the army. He even blamed them for being the reason that they didn't get the 3 star. The builders felt awful, and the chief was furious. So the brothers offered to make it up to the chief for supposedly losing the battle for their village. So they offered to build him something that could help. The chief allowed this, but told them that they had until sunset. Otherwise, they will both be exiled off the island. So both brothers got to work, attempting to create their best creation yet. And by the time sunset came, they both met the chief outside of his town hall. And then the chief asked Bill to present his creation first. So Bill brought forward a shiny blue piece of armor. And when Bill explained what it was, he said, Since I cannot fight in battles for you, I created something that can. I present to you the Builder's Personal Electronic Killing Knight Assistant. Or for short, the Bibka. Then the Builder flicked a switch on its back and the Bibka came to life. He showed what the Bibka could do. It was the strongest troop the Chief had ever seen. He could swing hard enough to send barbarians flying. And its armor was built out of the strongest materials that could be found on the island. And the King was extremely impressed. And after he got over the amazing new creation by Bill, he asked Dirk to bring forth his creation. So Dirk unveiled his brand new defense. He called it the Crusher. Sadly, the chief did not look too impressed, and he said, So you're telling me that your younger brother created an artificially intelligent mechanical robot with super strength, and you made me a giant rock that goes up and down. After realizing how stupid that sounded, Dirk looked down and agreed. The chief was so disappointed in Dirk that he exiled him into an abandoned island a long ways away. And Dirk spent almost 5 years taking a power nap, trying to sleep off how mad he was that he got kicked off the island while his younger brother got to stay. He swore that one day he would get his revenge. But until then, he went back to sleep. And back to the home village. Even though the chief was furious at Dirk, he was still awestruck at Bill's new bubka, but he said there was one tiny problem. The name. He said he had to change it because it sounded really stupid. So Bill suggested, how about just Pekka? The chief approved and was so amazed at Bill's building talents that he named him the Village Builder. Bill continued to build new structures for the chief and continued to upgrade his greatest creation, the P.E.K.K.A., making it more and more powerful as time went on. Life was pretty good. Bill got to build things all day, every day, which he loved doing. But as time went on, Bill started getting tired of doing the same thing day in and day out. But the chief continued to force him to work. So the builder had to do something about it. Thank you guys so much for watching my story on how the P.E.K.K.A. was created, as well as a bit of a combined story of how our villagers got the builder. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like on the video. And if this video gets over 1000 likes, I'll make a part 2 to it. It'll answer tons more questions, 
for example, what happened to Dirk and what he went on to do, because he definitely did not just continue sleeping for five years after that. Um, it'll tell us more about the P.E.K.K.A. and competing with the Builder Village on why there is like the Super P.E.K.K.A. and stuff like that. And also why, since we only have one builder right now, which is Bill, how did that become five builders? So there are tons more questions to answer uh, on our village. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. If you are, make sure you leave a like, and if this video gets 1,000 likes, I will make the part two. Also, I'm gonna flash up on screen some information, some of my contact info for Discord, for Twitter, Instagram, all of that. So if you guys want, you can go ahead and follow me there. I will be doing a new giveaway on my Twitter account sometime soon. So if you want to get a head start, you can go ahead and follow me there. And you can also message me through Twitter or Discord if you want to join my brand new clan, which is called World of Clash. And anyways, that is pretty much going to be it for today's video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed making these story videos. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next. Peace.